Hi, this is Keith with Vantech Home. Uh, we're in the shop today again and uh, thought I would run by and do a uh, real quick um, uh, real quick test on a um, defrost heater. So this is a defrost heater out of a, uh, a GE and um, what we have here is um, a uh, Klein Tools. It's a CL2000. It's a amp meter and a clamp on meter and a, a digital volt ohm meter. Um, so these are these are basically um, just a heater element. Um, voltage comes in here. We did our previous video with uh, with the um, defrost thermostat, and basically it's supplying power to a heating element as this heating element. Uh, warms up, it puts heat up, you know, through the evaporator coil and defrosts it once that thermostat opens up, cuts off the, uh, the electricity to the heating element and um, stops the defrost cycle. All right, so this guy here, these are really easy to test. Um, you know, this is a, a filament inside of a glass tube here. Um, you'll see some of these have just a, uh, a heating element that wraps completely around the uh, evaporator uh, coil. So to test these, what we do is, um, first off, you notice on the meter that we've got the OL, so it's out of limit, meaning that it's completely open. If we um, do a short here, we get the, uh, the beep, showing that we have continuity, and then we also get um, an ohms reading. So um, yeah, it's gonna read the resistance in your fingers if you're holding them together. The important thing is that uh, we get that reading. So basically all we have to do is go ahead and touch both connectors. And um, what we have here is nothing, okay? There's no reading on the meter. Um, we've got no continuity. So this element is in essence open. Um, we should be getting some kind of reading. So just to be sure, let's go ahead and hit it on ohms and see if we've got some kind of um, really high resistance um, connection in here. And again, it's out of limits, the meter showing out of limits, so it is completely open. Now this guy here, I knew this was bad. Um, just wanted to show what happens here. So this is basically a coiled filament inside of this glass tube. So I've already bent up the retaining rings. So let's go ahead and we'll take and just pop this tube out of here. Um, and you can see that uh, it's a little wonky on one end here. So let's go ahead and get the fingers out of the camera here. And there we go, that side and that side. All right. So we have the element out. Um, and basically what happens is, just like a light bulb, is they start to get old and they um, basically burn, okay? So this is, um, as you can see, there's a, a nice coil wire in there. Um, this guy here is where it's broken, okay? You can see that it's just burnt into two pieces. So if you're getting, um, if we open that up a little bit to where it would actually reach in and, and contact, we may end up getting some kind of mega ohm reading on this. We can go ahead and try that just for fun. Um, but what's going to happen again is, is as this, um, nope, no mega ohm, but as this, even if you open this all the way up and it was touching um, the inside here of the other coil and giving us a reading, um, let's see if that did it. Okay, so if you see the meter here, it's reading nine or eight point, um, you know, eight mega ohms. All right, the resistance value should be much lower than that on this filament. Um, so if you're getting a high mega ohm reading, it's kind of an indication that something's going on in there. You know, and we're getting that because of the corrosion. It's not a good contact. There's high resistance. Um, and what's going to happen is as this heats up, it's going to um, pull apart again and go open and not complete the... Uh, not complete the defrost cycle. So anyway, that's, that's basically it. Um, you know, it's a fairly easy test. Um, if you get a low resistance uh, continuity check on it, you're good. If you get high resistance 
um, in the mega ohm readings. Um, you know, check obviously with the tech manual and see what you're supposed to be getting across there, but it should be much lower than that. Alrighty. Anyway, hope that helps. Um, you know, if you need to uh, go ahead, just order this up from your parts place and uh, get it in. It's just a couple of wires. Now, the newer model of this, this is out of a GE refrigerator. The newer model is of these have two elements in there and um, have a jumper on one end from one element to the other. And both connectors will go on to uh, onto the right or left side, depending on uh, how you orient your your uh, your defrost heater. Alrighty. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free. Give us a holler. Um, drop us an email. Give us a comment. Uh, like us on Facebook, uh, Vantech Home um, on Facebook. Um, we're on Twitter. Visit our website. Subscribe. Send us an email at info um, at vantechhome.com. Always glad to hear from you folks. Uh, visit our blog. Lots of good places and ways to get a hold of us. Anyway, hope this was helpful. Have a great day, and we will see you soon.